Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you the color replacement brush, one of the more odd tools to be found in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you very much and let's get started. So as you can imagine, the color replacement brush basically replaces the color of an object, but it has a very special function to it because what it does is it takes into account the brightness and the saturation of the original pixels that it is replacing and this is very different from for example using the recolor adjustment so i will show you what that means you can see here we have apples in very strange colors and these are the original apples so now i want to turn half of the green apple into being replaced by the replacement color brush and then the other half i will replace with recolor adjustment so let's select this area here and then adjustment recolor it also recalls a little bit of the background but this is not the point right now the point here is if i go to green you can see that this is giving me a very strange green because this is not taking into account the brightness or saturation of the original pixel it just replaces it and you would have to play around with the settings and kind of know what you're doing but you still if you get close to what the replacement brush is doing you still see that the, your adjustments to the color saturation and lightness are applied in the same way to all the pixels and so the result still looks strange and unnatural and this is not what you want so let's delete this and look into what our color replacement brush is actually doing and also where to find it so here on the left side where your tools are you have your classic paint brush tool and you can see it has a little white corner and when you click on that this reveals more tools and there is our color replacement brush so select that and the nice thing is that most of the settings are the same as with the normal brush the only things that are different are here these three settings on the right side which are the tolerance sample continuously and continuous we have already seen when i now go over my object that this will replace the color but not the saturation not the brightness to understand that better let's go up here and select the color field where we can choose our color you can see i now have set my brush to a very bright green and when i paint over my apple this gives me a nice green apple but if i undo this and i select a very dark green it gives me the very same green apple and if i select a very bright green it still gives me the same green apple the reason for that is because this is only taking into account the color but not the brightness and not the saturation you're choosing so you only get to choose the color and you can choose different green tones different blue tones all kinds of colors but not the brightness not the saturation good so now let's look into what these settings up here do with the tolerance sample continuously and continuous i will set my tolerance to a very low value so we get to see how the brush works because what it does is in the center of the brush it is sampling the background for the color the brightness and the saturation and it will give us back all the pixels that fall under these qualifying criteria. okay so now these two settings here sample continuously and continuous mean two things first of all sample continuously means when you click and hold your mouse to paint a stroke it will continuously do more samples of the background and this is why I get more and more green fields to fill up my area that I'm painting on so it samples and then samples again and then samples again as long as I hold my mouse button and move my mouse around good let's undo this if I turn this off it only samples the first time and then doesn't sample again so this means you can see here it doesn't color in any other pixels just the ones that are qualifying under the criteria that i selected with my first mouse click with the first sampling of the source okay so continuous means that when i click it will only color in the 
pixels that are next to my qualifying source pixels that I selected with the qualifying criteria, but not any other pixels around. And this sometimes works. Sometimes it also selects a little bit of other pixels, but you can now see if I go over the apple. Oh, up here it's selected a little bit also green. So um, it stays basically in the area. While when I turn this off, it will recolor all the pixels that it can find on the object that have the same criteria that I originally sampled. So if I click now here, you will see that it also will paint in other pixels that it finds. You can see here on the right side, it now has painted in more pixels, not just in the original area that I painted on. But for the most cases, what you probably do, because you can see here the sampling and the selection gives you something that doesn't look that great and you can't set the softness or fuzziness of the selection at all, um, you probably want to go with sample continuously turned on and continuously turned on and also set the tolerance to a high value, maybe 30, maybe 50, depending on your object. And then you can simply paint over it and recolor this. But there is another thing you have to look out for. First of all, you can see it simply has a little bit of a problem with the edges. So you want to resize your brush and then work the edges again. So you have a really smooth coloring that really captures everything of the object you want to recolor. And the other thing is this brush only works great if the background has a completely different color as the object you will paint. Because as you can see here, if I have a lot of apples and then I paint on that, of course, this will simply paint over all of the apples. So it loses its benefit a little bit or you have to be a bit more cautious, just paint the inside of the apple, then use a smaller brush and start to work on the outsides of the apple. This is also a way how you can replace the color of an object if you want to do it with the color replacement brush. Another thing to point out here is that you cannot create a new pixel layer and then select sample from the layer below so you would paint the new colors onto an extra pixel layer. As a little bit of a workaround, what you could do is to duplicate your pixel layer, paint in the colors and then just mask out the rest. But that is a little bit of an extra step to do, of course. Okay. This is how the color replacement brush works. I hope I gave you a good look into that. Please write into the comments what other kinds of tools you want me to explain, what kind of things you find hard to understand about Affinity Photo. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. If you do, hit the little bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video and maybe also share the videos with your friends so they can also benefit of that knowledge. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.